So with the European Safe Online Initiative, we try to increase the level of media literacy within the families um, with a special attention for parents in vulnerable uh, situations. We support those parents by uh, educating or empowering their own children regarding a safe and responsible use of internet. And how do we do that? By actually providing a qualitative, but also up-to-date and very practical training modules to parents. And we do that through uh, skilled trainers. The pedagogical vision of this program is building a bridge and relationship between parents and children on the topics of e-safety, online issues and media literacy. It's not easy for parents to address these issues because on the one hand they are quite influenced by everything they see or they heard in the media through, through the journalists or articles they can read emphasizes problematic situations about sexting, about cyberbullying online, and they are really um, concerned about online uses of their children, even worried, and they do not know how to deal with that. With that. They do not know how to integrate the screens and the online technologies in their own families. Um, they need guidance on that. And on the other hand, you have the kids enjoying the online world, taking all the opportunities of that, enjoying it a lot and, and discovering a new world. And this program is just building a bridge, a link, a relationship to help the parents to go in dialogue with their children in a very positive parenting way on the issue of internet, media literacy, online safety, to make it relax, to help them to to build a, a relationship of trust based on dialogue, based on curiosity. And also a very important point, I think, of this vision is a, a non-judgmental um, attitude from parents towards what kids are doing online. The unique aspect of our training is really the fact that it's parents centered and kids centered, and we give the floor to the parents um, to stimulate the debate, to stimulate um, questions among them and to listen what works and what failed in other families. We do not push the parent in a certain way or we do not come up with a, a magical recipe on online media literacy and how which parenting style is the best uh, is the best but we help them in giving as many information as possible, as many tips and tricks as possible regarding uh, e-safety and the internet use of their children um, to find, we help them to find their own way to support their children. Th they have to find their own uh, media literacy recipe. It's very important to be surrounded by the right uh, partner, to be supported by the right partner, and I could dare to advise to all organizations or people willing to start an awareness raising program for parents to not start alone. Um, don't be alone, start the adventure with um, another partner, another organization to fulfill your field of expertise. 10 years ago, at that time, we had many expertise from child focus perspective on e-safety and more indeed the technical aspect of um, a safe and responsible use of internet for kids. And we need it to be supported by another organization with more expertise regarding parenting, regarding education. And that's why when we met the Gezinsbond uh, family union, it was the perfect match. It was the perfect wedding to go to start with. You have to go further because it was not enough. And we needed also local expertise um, we needed also expertise of media literacy organizations working on the field with kids. So we put around the table also uh, schools, libraries, universities, and very important also experts on the field of the topics. One of the biggest challenges was to keep offering a qualitative and practical training module to parents and to not fall in the, in the pitfall of theoretical and one-way training module from an expert speaking to, to parents. And so, yes, you have to take the time to listen to, to the parents, to, to
to be aware actually of what lives, what are the preoccupation and to take into consideration um, the needs of the parents, the needs of your target, target group. Yeah, maybe the most challenge was to, to, to be really aligned with, with the preoccupation of the parents and of the kids. To cope to these challenges, I see three ways of solutions. The first constant involving your target group. Parents, go listen to them, organize some focus group. You think that it takes some time, but actually you save a lot of time by listening to them. Um, organize also focus group with, uh, with young people because the, 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 the deal, the goal of the training is to promote a safer and responsible use of internet among young people through parents. So do not forget to listen also to the kids, what they do online, what they experiment, in order to have in mind this bridge. Always keep in mind this bridge. How can I align parents and, and, and children on a very sensitive topics? Another solution, the second one could be, do not hesitate to take contact with your helpline, e-safety helpline. So the organization answering to the questions of parents having a problem, having a doubts on um, the safe and responsible use of internet of their kids, because those experts are really aware about the problematic situations and the reasons why parents contact the helpline. And the last one, solution if may i if i can say it like that is uh, be surrounded by experts be surrounded by the people knowing the phenomenon that you are dealing with cyberbullying online relationships as many experts as possible think tank reflect together um, and my last word would be also a, like a, a fourth solution of a point of attention is dealing with vulnerable parents to, that's also a challenge actually, to make sure that you reach as many as possible parents and not always the privileged one, quite aware about what is media literacy, quite aware about positive parenting and, and mild parenting. And, but please also go reaching the vulnerable parents, the ones who never participate to, to training sessions. And that's also I think a success factor of, um, of these awareness training initiatives.